Welcome to Minecraft, but crafting is reversed. In today's video, I'm going to be crafting an uncrafting table that can literally reverse any item in the game. And not only that, but some items contain special reverse crafts known to be pretty overpowered. Can I beat the dragon? Stay tuned to find out. All right, here we go, guys. Welcome to Minecraft, but everything today, well, maybe not everything, is going to be reverse. Wait, what is that thing over there? Um. Oh, hello. Wow, I literally just started the video. What is going on right now? We have a random structure over there. I think that's like an ocean monument thing. And then we have a traveling villager right here. Okay, these are actually really random. What the heck, man? But like I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted by these llamas and this wandering trader. Today's crafting is not going to be very normal compared to the usual crafting right here that we're doing right now. But instead, very soon, I'm going to be making what I was told was a reverse crafting table. So the reverse crafting table pretty much does what we think it does. But apparently it also has some extra special crafts for some of the better items in Minecraft. And I'm pretty much going into this blind. The only thing I know is all I need is one crafting table and eight pieces of cobblestone we can go ahead and make there it is the uncrafting table use me to uncraft any item that is craftable mess up a craft i can fix it unlock special crafts that may or may not be helpful and there it is the uncrafting table just kind of like a gray crafting table so if we click inside of it it's kind of like a normal crafting table but we can't place anything on the left side instead for example if we put four sticks inside we can get two oak planks back and then we can just craft it back to four sticks and just do that again so i know of some blocks I should be going for for the special crafts but i'm also wondering does dirt give you anything special wait what <laughs> Wait, that doesn't make sense. Hold up. One dirt equals nine grass blocks, huh? All right, so just like that, we got 36 grass blocks and we literally just started. We also have an apple. Low-key, I'm kind of interested. Does the apple have a reverse craft? Let's check this out. Wait, what? <laughs> what? What is this? It's nine red wool for one apple, which low-key might be kind of worth it because we do need beds to kill the dragon. I'm going to go ahead and grab it for now, but let's actually go for the good reverse crafts. And I feel like the main challenge is really figuring out what to reverse craft to get the best potential items. Also, what's inside here oh a fishing rod and some wheat hold on what if we put the fishing rod in the reverse crafting table <gasps> no way okay we just got early string i should have probably kept the fishing rod but that could be really good for a bow oh and we have a village right there perfect okay i'm gonna get some stuff for the village and then probably go straight to caving so i can go ahead and get a lot of the good items to reverse craft because apparently the coal block iron block gold block emerald block redstone block lapis block diamond block and even the netherite block apparently gives you some very very good stuff so I think I'm mainly going to be going for those. All right, I'm going to get all these beds because actually with the reverse crafting table. Oh, that's so big brain. Wait, do I need the wool? I'm going to go ahead and get all the wool just so I can make the beds later. I feel like that'd be the smart thing to do. All right, there we go. 12 wool. Hold on. Wait, what if we put the wool here? Do we get the string? This might be enough for a bow. And there we go. Okay, we got six string now and might as well use the normal crafting table because we finally have a normal bow. I'm trying to see if we need anything else from this village. Oh, hold on. Okay, this might be really risky. I am in hardcore mode. All I want to do is beat the game right now and then and then you can go your own way okay please 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 if i can get a lot of iron i should be good to go oh and there we go i need to start getting those valuable blocks to actually get apparently the good stuff in this game mode so speaking of the devil we already got some iron right here might as well just grab i think four of it and then we can go ahead and make our first iron block and try to reverse craft that i think our final reverse crafting goal definitely has to be the dragon egg because apparently that's the best one we can reverse craft but you can't really craft a dragon egg so what would that even give you wait a second i haven't tried cobblestone what does cobblestone give us wait what <laughs> What? <laughs> Mossy cobblestone. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, okay. I won't make fun of it again. I'm so sorry. No. One, two. I'm gonna die. Oh, okay, we're good. I need to get armor now. Okay. All right, let's real quick uh, cook up two of these. All right, so while that cooks, I just realized we can go ahead and make one coal block. And so apparently the coal block is going to be the first reverse craft that is really going to be special. So let's go ahead and see what it gives us. Probably some more coal. Oh, oh, wow. Okay, wait, that changes everything. Hold up. All right, so we got some chests. A sharpness one wooden sword. Actually pretty cool. Efficiency one wooden shovel. Efficiency one wooden axe. And a fortune one efficiency one wooden pickaxe. And then some... Oh, wait. Oh. Um, okay. A shipwreck supply chest, a village shepherd chest, a dungeon chest, a spawn bonus chest, and a village tannery chest? I guess that's not that good, but these chests low-key are not bad at all. Hold up. So we even got a spawn bonus chest. Okay, I might as well look at both of these at once. All right, we really didn't get anything useful from that, but we also still have the others. So, um, all right, we got some coal. Oh, I can make another coal block. I'm really liking these blocks so far. And why not? Some leather armor. Okay, I'll take that, I guess. All right, just because we can make one more, let's go ahead and get another chest of dungeon chest, spawn bonus chest, a village shepherd chest village tannery chest and the shipwreck chest this is actually looking pretty good guys holy oh 
Oh, wait, this is a dungeon chest. I just realized we can actually get good stuff from this. A fire protection three book. And we can also go ahead and make a redstone block to reverse craft. So this is going pretty quick, guys. If the coal block is this good, I cannot imagine what the diamond one and the netherite one is going to be. So we definitely got to go for that very soon. Oh, wait, I have an idea, guys. Leather tunic, make it into leather. And then with the leather, I can go ahead and make a leather boots and a leather cap. Not bad. All right, so I made the iron block. Let's see what it gives us. All right, iron block, don't fail me. Oh. <laughs> we got full iron armor, iron tools, and another iron pick. I literally just made the iron pickaxe, but honestly, I can't complain. And to top it off, we get a village weaponsmith chest, which I don't know which one this is. Is this a blacksmith? Oh my gosh. Holy, this is OP. Okay, so we got seven obsidian, two diamonds, two gold ingots, and another apple. What the heck? We can almost go to the nether already. Okay, I need seven more diamonds, and I can make another diamond block to reverse craft. This is actually going really well, guys. What the heck? And we can also still make a redstone block, but I want to hold off on doing that just for a little bit and actually get the remaining gold ingots and uh, speak of the devil right there, gold ingots and diamonds to make the diamond block and gold block. Not a bad gold vein at all. Skeleton, skeleton, please, 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 please. I'm just out here trying to reverse craft. That's it. Okay, thank you, skeleton. I appreciate it. A little bit more gold, and with that, we have seven gold ingots. We need two more to go, and then we can make our gold block, and might as well get some more redstone because we don't know how good reverse crafting the redstone block is, so it might actually just save our butt. Iron armor is not going to be good enough to kill the dragon. <gasps> yes! <laughs> and as I say that, guys, we find our first diamond vein we already have i think two diamonds so if this is a seven vein i don't think it's a seven vein dang it no it's literally a six vein we need one more diamond and we can legit go ahead and get the diamond block for the craft this is going really well really quickly wait a second we actually have to use three diamonds because i gotta get the obsidian for enchantments and i don't really want to risk dying in this i only have one life so let's actually get enchants before anything wait i just realized if we have to get a netherite block how am i gonna get that much netherite that is so much netherite like what the heck i don't know if i can get one whole netherite block unless i can reverse craft like ancient debris but i'm really hoping for the best right now and we just found a mine shaft oh my gosh this cave is amazing right now i'm thinking about it right now too what if we find a notch apple we could reverse craft that too oh wow um okay as i say that we get a golden apple from a chest and i think we can definitely reverse craft this and i don't even need to smelt the gold ore just like that we get 10 gold ingots and that should be perfect to making a gold block i'm really crossing my fingers right now that it somehow gives me netherite or else then we're gonna have to do a lot of netherite mining all right i have a lot of lapis let's go ahead and do lapis oh Wow. <laughs> That, that's a bit of a scam. Okay, I thought Lapis was about to be something really cool. Instead, we get Lapis makes, well, Lapis. Okay, so I'm gonna assume that Lapis doesn't give us, oh, wow, I can't even finish my sentence. We just found diamonds. Don't mind if I do. And with that, guys, I think we should be good to go ahead and make a diamond block. Another chest. Nice, okay. All right, chest, please be something. Oh, okay, I literally was just talking about this like two minutes ago. And just like that, guys, we got the Enchanted Golden Apple, which I'm not really excited about the Enchanted Golden Apple itself, but I kind of want to see, are we able to reverse craft this? this. <gasps> Wait a second. It actually works. That is eight blocks of gold and I guess one apple. Oh no, there goes the enchanted gold apple. That's actually really good, guys, because with these eight blocks of gold, we can go ahead and do the reverse craft of the block of gold. And look at that, guys. A one gold apple, which we really don't need. We just got an enchanted one and protection two gold armor. Is that better than my current iron armor? Holy. <laughs> Wait, what? Fortune five, efficiency four. And then we get a shipwreck map chest, a buried treasure chest, and a... That's really good, right? Wait, can I get a totem from that? All right, then we get the woodland... Oh my gosh. That's literally perfect in this game mode. An infinity one book and holy, we do need more diamonds for armor. So might as well. We're getting a lot of gold, a lot of iron. Oh wait, an emerald. I completely forgot that we do need emeralds for an emerald block. Might as well. Let's go ahead and do one more gold block. I don't need this gold armor. All the homies hate the gold armor, but we do have a lot more chests. So I think I'm going to try this out first. All right, buried treasure and another diamond. Not bad. Two more diamonds. Oh, some TNT, some iron ingots. And finally the big chest. We can actually finally make an emerald block. I'm gonna go ahead and guess right now that emerald block is probably either gonna give us really good loot or probably villagers. And I was right. Okay, we got a villager spawn egg. What are the chests though? We got a village. Oh wow, it's all village. Okay, I was lit. Oh wait, no, we have a shipwreck. Okay, village mason. Um, literally trash. Village temple chest. Wait, village temple chest. Oh, not really much, but I do appreciate it. Village weaponsmith. I think this is the good one. Oh yeah, it's definitely the good one. All right, with that we got 17 diamonds and village cartographer, which has one stick and two paper. Yes, my favorite. Come down below stick into paper if you made it this far all right so we did gold we did emerald we did iron and all that we have left now is redstone diamond and the one thing we don't have which is gonna be netherite ingot oh i never spawned the villager i just realized that okay villager how's it going buddy that's actually really good we got a fletcher how did you become a fletcher all right i'll buy your products i got 32 arrows from you buddy even though i have an infinity book i'm gonna take that real quick but how's it going buddy you know you can stay right there anyways first we're gonna be doing the block redstone then the diamond block i don't expect much for the redstone block but let's go ahead and see it oh wait this is actually 
actually really good for the dragon. We get one TNT, four beds, an abandoned mineshaft chest, which is kind of fitting for the area I'm in right now. A desert temple chest, holy. A pillager outpost chest. And then we get a, holy, a bastion bridge chest. That's really good, right? Can that give us netherite? I'm not sure. Abandoned mineshaft, two more diamonds. We have so many diamonds. We can literally make two diamond blocks. Pillager outpost chest. Um, I guess a bottle of enchanting, not bad. Then a desert temple chest, some more emeralds. Why not? And I think the best for last, a bastion bridge chest, which gives us a lodestone, some more arrows, and I guess another gold block. I'm not sure if that was worth it for a bastion, but you know what? I'm not going to question it. All right, guys, I'm about to spend nine diamonds on this. I don't know if it's going to be worth it. Let me see if I can find some diamonds real quick in the rest of this cave before I do this. Just justify. Oh, more gold over there. Oh, and there we go. Okay, literally right around the corner. This will make me feel a little bit better about spending so many diamonds just on one reverse craft, which won't give me the diamonds back probably, but I'm optimistic. Might as well try it. Please be worth it. Please be good. Oh, holy. Okay, that was worth it. Nine diamond blocks gives us protection three, protection three, protection three, protection th What? That is so good. Efficiency four. I, I literally don't need these diamonds anymore. I can do this again. And a sharpness four diamond sword. Okay, reverse crafting might be a little bit too OP. And at the end, we get a stronghold corridor chest, which actually might be the way we get the ender pearls if this is what I think it is. Oh, no, we didn't get any ender pearls there. Okay, you might want to call me dumb doing this, but I think I can just get unlimited diamonds by reverting all the items I just got. So low key, I think I just doubled my diamonds. Just like that, we got 43 diamonds. Nine times four is 36. Wait, I can make four more diamond blocks. I think I'm going to do that real quick. I think this is a good idea. I made four diamond blocks. And the main thing I'm going for right now is going to be the stronghold corridor chest because I think we can get ender pearls from here. Okay, no ender pearl yet, but we are getting a lot of golden apples. Not bad. And why not? Let's go ahead and make a shield. And I might as well also infinity one bow. What if I try to reverse craft obsidian? Wait, that doesn't even make sense. So what? One obsidian equals more obsidian? Let me know in the comments down below if that makes any sense at all. You know what? I'm, I'm not even going to question it. Let's go ahead and get that. And Ashley, because why not? More power to me. We do need a way back out. Let's get 22 obsidian. And I do have one more diamond block. I'm going to go ahead and get one more stronghold chest. Might as well reverse craft all this to get all the diamonds in the world. That was definitely a weird way of getting a nether portal. But with that being done, let's actually go get some netherite. All right. I'm going to be needing some blazes. And that is a bastion right there. Nice. Okay. I should should probably get netherite first though, unless we can get it inside the bastion. Oh gosh. Okay. I'm going in guys. Okay. I just got to get some chests. This might be a really bad idea. I need to get ender pearl somehow. How's it going guys? Oh, they're not happy. Okay. Okay. How's it going guys? All right. So we, we can do a little bit of a trade here. All right. Do you guys accept gold? Do you guys accept gold? No, they don't accept gold. Oh no. no, no. Oh no. Okay. Yeah. Guys, we ran into a problem. They don't like, my oh, that guy likes my gold. Okay. You over there. I'm going to kill your brothers. Uh, oh, that, that was too violent. Okay. <laughs> oh, I feel so bad about that. Hold up. I could just make this into more gold. It gets for more trading. I can make unlimited gold right now. All right, please no one kill me just here to steal your stuff and there we go okay this is gonna save us a lot of time one ancient debris which i don't think we can reverse craft okay another chest all right please have ancient debris yes we literally don't even need to mine for it oh, there's a lot, actually a lot of good stuff here we could reverse craft that magma cream oh <gasps> wait a second guys this is big oh <gasps> that's a really easy way of getting blaze powder reverse crafting is really coming in clutch right now holy wait what about ancient debris no we can't do anything with ancient debris sadly but we did get seven more magma cream which low-key makes us not have to actually fight the blazes so just like that we got 15 blaze powder. Not bad. I should probably give these guys gold here. Go down, go down. Nice. All right, you right there. I'm going to be giving you 39 gold. Oh, come on. Come on, buddy. There we go. All right, I'll come back for you. All right, to the next part. Holy, that's a lot of you guys. Nope, nope, no, 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 no. Oh, gosh. Okay, two and a half hearts. We're good. Golden apple. Literally, protection three is not enough for the bastion. Holy. All right, one chest. Please be good. I definitely need a lot more ancient debris. Holy golden carrots. 24 gold carrots and a lot of arrows. Yeah, don't mind if I do. Oh, man. Okay, Um, I don't know how I'm going to do this. That is a lot of gold, which means a lot of potential crafting. So I'm just going to go above them real quick. Gosh, how do I do this? How do I do this? Okay, that should be all of them. Magma cube, please don't push me off. And it was definitely worth it because we got another ancient debris. I think I'm going to try to reverse craft one netherite ingot first because I feel like if I go straight for a netherite block, it's going to take me a lot of time. So I'm going to double check first if I can actually make anything with the netherite ingot. Yeah, I think I'm going to get out of here. All I need to get now is just some ender pearls and one ancient debris. How's it going, guys? All right, so um, hopefully they got me some good stuff. But just in case they didn't, I'm going to do this real quick. Wait, they dropped ender pearls. Okay. Um, and they just dropped more ender pearls. Yes, I'm going to take the risk right now. I'm going to kill these guys because it does kind of look like it's enough. Yeah, it was definitely enough. 22 ender pearls, not bad. All we need to get now is just one ancient debris. And then we can finally see if netherite ingots really do give us something good when we try to reverse craft it. All right, I got to get to Y13. Come on, ancient debris, just one of you. And I uh, should be good. All right, we're doing it the old fashioned way. All right, put a bed down and boom. And no netherite, dang it. I think I now know why the block redstone gives us this stuff. We get not only four red beds, but one TNT per block redstone. So I'm kind of glad
glad I did save up on the redstone when I came in here. All right, this will be the new plan, guys. And we're going to be getting a lot of beds. And I'm literally going to not stop until I find some netherite. I guess I'm stopping right now. <laughs> what? What is that timing? Okay, I guess. I don't even need that ancient debris right there. I'm just going to grab this. We got the ancient debris. Let's go back home. Cook the netherite. Then get going to the stronghold. I'm honestly flabbergasted right now. I don't know what just happened. As we'll use all the netherite, we have to make our portal back. And here we go. All right, we got the reverse crafting table. We got the furnace. And while the netherite cooks, we might as well go ahead and make 15 eyes of ender, which will be more than enough to find the stronghold. It took a lot of work, but we finally have the netherite ingot. Now to reverse craft it. All right, netherite ingot please be good to me oh my gosh holy i guess we're fighting the dragon now oh my gosh 64 in city treasure chest do i even need in city treasure chest sharp is five okay all that work was definitely worth it and i'm honestly really happy that i didn't go for the whole block or else i would have taken a long time just to see that the netherite ingot was the right one and just like that we got cover me in debris we are officially way too overpowered <laughs> what but with that being done it's not the most op reverse craft apparently so now that we've done all that let's actually go find the stronghold kill the dragon and see what the dragon egg gives us all right i have under and where where to go <gasps> it just went back okay should be around here then i'm gonna risk one more Okay, it was definitely worth it. We have 14 eyes of ender going into this. I definitely don't need any more. I'm just gonna go ahead and dig straight down. If I die from this, then honestly, I deserved it. I literally have a stack of netherite pickaxes. I don't think anything wrong can happen. And before I fall into the void or that, I guess that works too. Oh, I already hear the lava. All right, where's the portal room? We have everything ready and here we are. Literally need all 12 eyes, but just like that, guys, we are ready to go into the end. Let's do this. All right, here we go, guys. We have a stack of netherite swords, two golden apples, and definitely a lot of redstone blocks to make a lot of beds. So this should be an easy dragon fight. I really hope the dev wasn't trolling when he said the dragon egg is really good. Oh, there goes another one. All right, just a few more crystals and then we should be good. That should be number four and five. I gotta go all the way up there. No, I'm stacking up with end city treasure chests. I don't know if that's a flex or not. Oh gosh, that was like number five or six. Who even knows at this point? All right, double 360, no scope. I should have not done that. I could still die from that. All right, we're good. Number eight, I think. Probably way off of the numbers right now. I think that should actually be all of them now. Now to finally kill this dragon. Get over here, buddy. Oh, it's perching. Okay, okay, while it perches, please don't hit me off. Get some TNT, get some beds. All right, I'm gonna put that there and i'm gonna put that there and i'm gonna blow that up and oh gosh that did a lot of damage and it didn't go away nice all right mr dragon please do not fly away i have a lot of beds for you watch this one i hope you like the red bed there you go another red bed and it's flying away all right i guess he didn't like the red bed so close to the dragon egg just a few more hits oh here we go again okay i got the beds this might be the last bed wait this might be game it is not game one more bed and i think this should be it guys finally the dragon egg and just like that we have the dragon egg now all right this should be the final craft so according to the dev this is gonna be the best uncrafting thing we can do i really don't know what would be better than the stuff we have right now but let's go ahead and see dragon heads what by the exterior looter cape i guess yeah made by leo uh, that's the dev and sponsored by bisect hosting nice nice anyways with all that being done if you guys all enjoyed have a great one and here's a video just like this one